One of the advantages of this process is the fact that it's very deployable. It can be unloaded from a truck, plugged in, and be operational in as little as 30 minutes. Think of the logistics of carrying enough billets in every size and shape part that you would need into the field for repair. It's not practical. Where we can load up one truck with all the powders that we need that could become any shape that, uh, that's needed. Our larger systems have a working area of about 700 millimeters in diameter and about 1,000 millimeters tall. Wow. So that's almost a little over two feet in diameter by three foot tall in terms of the working envelope. What kind of material properties do you get out of this? So the general uh, spectrum I would create is to basically say you have castings on the low end and forgings on the high end. We're typically between those two a little closer to the forging end. Oh, so okay. generally better than a casting, but not as good as a forging. And uh, is there any kind of post-processing that you'll do to, to change those properties? Once the build's done, you can heat treat, you can hip or hot isostatic press. After that, you can do post-machining to do critical fine features, flat faces, add in sealing surfaces, whatever you want to do after the fact. It's a real metal part.